just from the onset, I want to talk from personal experience. I grew up in the city of Detroit, in the inner city, born and raised there. And that area has a reputation of being a tough place. Maybe it is, but it's probably no tougher than growing up uh, in New York or Brooklyn or something like that. Um, but there is one issue, is that many, many young men, and in my opinion, too many young black boys end up going to prison when they would have been better off if they had, would have gotten treatment for their mental illness, for drug addiction. If they had a chance to learn how to read, they wouldn't have ended up in prison. So we do have a problem, I believe, with our sentencing policy. But needless to say, and my closest childhood friend spent years, he spent decades in the penitentiary, is that once these young kids go to prison, they become hardened criminals by virtue of their time in prison. So the focus of this hearing, in the sense that we're looking at what's wrong with the prison culture and how can we change it, how can we improve it, I think it's the right focus. But to put it in the context of Islam, I think that distracts us. Let me get right to the point. I asked some, someone who served time in prison, why do they convert to Islam? And why do other young men convert to Islam? You know, essentially it's two reasons. Number one, for protection. To protect myself from other inmates and the prison staff. And then number two, because these young men were tired of their past. They wanted to break away from their criminal past and to become a new man. So they became Muslim. You know, my question is this. How can we change the culture in prison so that for those convicted felons who will be released, that they're rehabilitated, that they don't end up going back into prison or committing crimes on the street? Because that's a waste of money. The taxpayers can't afford it. And not only is it a waste of money, it's a waste of lives. I've seen it happen. And you know, we talk about political correctness. You know what pisses me off? I'm a damn member of Congress here, and my friends have rotted in prison. And those that have gotten out, they've never been the same again. Some of them did commit crimes, and they should have been punished for it. But others were in the wrong place at the wrong time. They wouldn't snitch on their friends. And they've never been the same again. I know this firsthand. We have a problem in this prison system. We've got to change it. We can't waste our money in warehousing these people, making them worse off, having them come out, commit crimes, and then go back to jail, go back to prison. It costs the taxpayers billions of dollars. Look, political correctness aside, I'm a Democrat. Some of you who are Tea Party members, this is the waste we've got to stop. We're spending too much money incarcerating young men, young black men whose lives could be saved. It's not about Islam. It's about the sentencing policy. It's about this prison system. We've got to change that. So I'm not really dissing where the chairman's coming from with this committee hearing. This is the right focus. What's going on inside our prisons is wrong. We've got to change it. We've got to stop this prison industrial complex. We're wasting too much of our taxpayers' money. Tea Party members, we need your support here. We've got to stop the waste, the waste of money and the waste of lives. These young men are going to Islam. They're trying to protect themselves. They want to change themselves. Are there some bad folks? Yes, they are. Well, like in every other faith and every other organization. I know I'm making a speech, but in that is the question. Let's improve this prison culture so that these young men are rehabilitated. If they're going to be released, if we're going to sentence them for life and punish them, that's a separate issue. So I, that's my question.